Hi, my name is Tegan Mulford and I'm an entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today we're going to be looking at some of the wonderful bugs that live inside of our conservatory ecosystem. As we work among the foliage, we find a lot of insects in here that aren't butterflies. Although our conservatory is made to keep butterflies in, we do have a lot of native insects that make their way inside as well. Some of our hitchhikers come along on plant material and other horticultural products. And a lot of the bugs we let live here. And so we have a bit of a conservatory ecosystem. When you think of entomologists, you often think of this. But actually, a lot of the work that we do involves lots of minutia and picking at leaves with forceps. We have mealybugs here in the conservatory, which can harm a lot of our plants, and scale bugs, which also harm a lot of our plants. But we also have mealybug destroyers, a type of beetle that we buy just to eat the mealybugs. So scale insect females typically don't even look like bugs. They don't have arms, but a lot of the males will look like your normal true bug with arms and mouth parts and everything. Jumping spiders actually don't use webs to catch their prey. Instead, they jump on their prey and will actually intercept their movements. Plus, they're super adorable. So there's a lot of rumors surrounding earwigs, which I would like to address here. Earwigs are super nice. They don't want to be in your ears. Your ears are kind of gross. <laughs> earwigs exhibit maternal care, which means that they take care of their babies. Earwigs are some of the best moms in the insect world, and they help break down detritus and other leaf pieces and plant material into something sustainable and usable by the plants again. So an earwig can't hurt you. It's not gonna crawl in your ear, and they're pretty nice. You can even hold them. Millipedes are one of the first animals to make it to the land. They're one of our most ancestral animals here in the conservatory and in your backyard. Pillbugs have a lot of names. Roly polies, pillbugs, isopods, crustaceans, the list goes on. But even though they have a lot of names, a roly poly can actually live for up to two years. That's a long time for something that you think of as just living under rocks forever. We also have a bunch of fungus gnats right here in our conservatory. You probably have them in your house too. They come in topsoil and they usually eat fungus associated with wet soil. Fungus gnats do these cute little dances where they put their wings up and they show off to each other and they have little curly antenna. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but flies are definitely my favorite. Next, let's look somewhere where we haven't yet, the soil. I made this pitfall trap out of half of a soda bottle and a deli cup and I just place the dirt in the soda bottle into the cup, which I flour so none of the bugs can get out. Then I put the whole thing under a hot lamp. A lot of bugs that live inside of the soil don't like to dry out. They want to be as moist as possible. So when we put it under a lamp, they go, oh, it's too hot here, and they go where it's darker and wetter until eventually all of it dries out and they end up right at the bottom. Could you put like a malaise trap yeah. Yeah, malaise trap. You saw a couple ways that we use to look at the bugs inside of our conservatory. Now, look at your ecosystem in your very own backyard. I can guarantee you'll find a couple of these critters right at home. Let me not, like, swing my hair into the shop. Millipedes. Millipedes. There's this meme that says maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's millipedes, and it's a girl with two millipedes. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. 